Yesterday there were reports in Indian media that a top delegation from Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, uh, HAL, is going to the United States to hold discussions with GE for purchasing jet engines for light combat aircraft Tejas 2. You know, already HAL has got a contract with GE for supplying jet engines for LCA Tejas 1A and now the delegation is going to discuss the possibility of buying engines or new engines for LCA Tejas 2. So that made me perplexed actually. Why? Because you know the, the G has it not had delivered F404 engines which they had promised for uh, LCA Tejas 1A. Already the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL and G had signed an agreement for the purchase. And uh, even two years after the promise date, the G has not been able to deliver a single F404 engines. You know, that has delayed, not just delayed, subverted the whole LCA Tejas program. This is why I am surprised. How HAL can go for the same company that violated the terms of agreement? And uh, do you think that G is going to keep their promise in the case of the second engine? There is a saying that once bitten, twice shy. This applies to each and every individuals and institutions in the world. I think still why HAL is going for uh, in jet engines from G, that's really perplexing and intriguing. Let's get into the details of the whole issue. Welcome to Insights. I am Hari Kumar. You know, as per the existing agreement between HAL and G, they were supposed to supply jet engines to uh, HAL. And uh, you know, there is a delay of two years. They, were, they had promised to start supplying engines from 2023 and now it is 2025. By 2025, HAL had promised to supply more than 20 uh, fully equipped, fully armed LCA Tejas 1A fighter jets. You know, India has got a shortage of, Indian Air Force has got a shortage of fighter jets. Instead of the envisaged 42 squadrons, India has, Indian Air Force has got less than 30 squadrons. I think IAF has got only 28 squadrons of fighter jets with them. That means the security of nation is at the stake. The life uh, of common man is at the stake. What will happen if the war breaks out between India and Pakistan or India and China or if both these countries come together to attack India? I don't know. You know, the justice, I mean, the pretext or what uh, G says is that because of global sub supply chain constraint, they are unable to keep up their promise. I don't think will anyone buy this logic. I don't think so. If you enter into an agreement to, with somebody or some institution, even if it is for just commodities but like rice or salt, if you, if you are unable to deliver that on date, will the buyer just meekly nod his head and agree to whatever you say? What, what the hell is going on? I cannot understand. And uh, my problem is, you know, once you are, uh, you are cheated by someone and will you approach the same person again? Now, let me know. I mean, as a, as a citizen of India, I think I have also got a right to know. Has the uh, bottlenecks in global supply chain uh, been cleared? I don't think so. So, it is for the, for the GE to explain that. 
I mean, still I am wondering why HIL is approaching GE for their engines. There may be the I, I can give you some possible answers because I have I have heard that in the press conferences of top management of HIL that you know LCA Tejas has been designed in such a way that it's not uh, engines from other manufacturers won't fit into it. For example, because of the size of the aircraft, because of the uh, of the of the design and other parameters, this is the best engine that is suited for. Uh, I mean, F four zero four engines are, are the best that are suited for LCA Tejas one name. Then why do you design LCA Tejas two also in the same way as to fit G jet engines? Why can't you? design and make the aircraft so that you can use Russian engines in that place. Again, there is an argument that uh, Russians are not willing to part with their technology. So I think that needs to be taken up in the, on the political level. Prime Minister Narendra Modi needs to discuss the issue with uh, Vladimir President Putin. But I mean, insisting that we will buy only from G when G is unable to meet their commitments, is that a wise strategy? This is my doubt. As a common man, I think I have, I have got the right to doubt because this is something related to my country's defense. Again, you know, there are aircraft engine manufacturers like, you know, Safran of France or Rolls-Royce Rolls from the UK who had expressed their willingness to jointly develop an engine with India. And even Russia had earlier uh, proposed to develop a jet engine jointly with India. But I don't know why India dismissed, I mean HL dismissed such overtures from other manufacturers. Why are you insisting on G? There are people who say that this is the best available engine in the world. It, it gives you the best Trust, okay, for the sake of argument, I am willing to agree with that. But let me ask you a question. If this manufacturer is uh, unwilling to meet their, keep their promises, and if they raise us pretext some like global supply chain uh, bottlenecks, then are you sure that in the coming days also they won't be raising such logic? So they are they going to take money from you and just fool you? Are they, my question is, my doubt is, are they trying to subvert the whole uh, indigenous fighter jet program of India? If you look into the history of indigenous fighter jets, you know, India is yet to manufacture a 4.5 generation fighter jet, while China has already uh, put into, I mean, started operating fifth generation aircrafts like J-20 Chengdu, now they have already flown a sixth generation fighter jet. And you know, even India's IAF chief has expressed anguish over the delay in uh, delivering Tejas planes to the Air Force. It's not, it is not just that uh, as an individual I am raising this. The I, Indian Air Force is also raising the same doubt, the same apprehension. They are raising the same fear. Now, why is HIL going ahead with a G for the second aircraft also? You know, their delay has actually supported the manufacture of not just LCA Tejas 1A, but Tejas 2 also. And now, the other, the, the fifth generation aircraft project, like AMCA, the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft Project, that has been supported. Will India be able to manufacture AMCA? Even after 10 years, I really doubt. So, just by blaming supply chain, how could you, uh, how, how could you say that you, have, uh, you are trying to keep your promise? Absolutely not. You are, you, uh, I think the words of uh, G are motivated and they have an ulterior motive to subvert the, uh, the indigenous fighter jet program of India. The question is, should India go ahead with the purchase from G? I don't think so. I think the conscience of the country should wake up 
and force HAL to find other producers, to find other partners. Let them rub up the Kaveri uh, Jet Engine program. I think the Modi government has already taken steps to revive the program. And let's hope that that becomes a success. I think India needs to get a good partner. Even money should not be a problem. I think that's for the union government to ensure that. Not blame on, that blame should not be put on LCA. I mean HAL. I hope that those who are concerned, those who are in power, the decision makers uh, will take an appropriate decision. Taking into consideration the past actions and uh, I mean failures of GE in delivering jet engines and in, and in you know fulfilling their promises. Meet you with another topic next time. Till then. Goodbye.